Alright guys, I am back with another video, so I just want to make this one real quick. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that the term rasterize is used when uh, converting into pixels that can be displayed on screen or printed. Uh, that has a slightly different uh, meaning whenever you're using it in uh, terms of like uh, GPU uh, or hardware rasterizing and software versus software rasterizing. Uh, I'm not going to go into too, too deep of detail on that, but if you want to know more about how Nanite rasterizes software and hardware and chooses uh, which one it wants to uh, use, software versus hardware, uh, then you could go and watch some of those talks that they did on Nanite and the breakdowns and explanations, and they they do a very well, a very good job on that. So let's get started, okay? So on this one right here, I am on 5.0.3. You'll see that right here in this position, I'm getting about 80. It really depends on like where I'm at in this scene. Uh, so they have two light sources on in this scene. And uh, when we turn the light sources off, you won't really see much of a difference between the frame rates. Uh, but this is 5.1 and this is with all Nanite foliage. And I'll go ahead and show that to you. So if we come over here to the Nanite visualization, we go to triangles, you'll see everything in this scene is triangles, uh, except for the landscape itself. So uh, we're getting a FPS of 95, so we are getting a slightly higher frame rate than the other one that was, and they're both using the same uh, rendering settings up here. So project settings, uh, rendering, and they're both using the Lumen, virtual shadow maps, and Temporal super resolution. So, <clears throat> uh, for one, you're you're not gonna want two light sources on in these scenes. Uh, actually, I had turned those light sources off. Let me turn those back on for comparison. Uh, we're still hitting uh, faster on the Nanite one without that, but with uh, the two light sources on, you'll see that. This one's hitting about 60, and it depends on where you're at in the scene. And uh, this one is hitting about 80. So you'll see, though, that the lighting uh, with uh, nanite trees actually looks, at least in with these trees in this scene, actually looks far better. Uh, the subsurface scattering does, at least to me, looks uh, far better. And more realistic I would think how the light and shadows fall but anyway I'll go ahead and show you that you'll see that you still get a hit from virtual shadow maps for nanite it's 3.46 in this scene and over here in this scene uh, it's 5.61 so it's significantly lower uh, for the nanite for rendering virtual shadow maps to nanite as you've seen and on nanite that is coming from the software and hardware rasterization and in some cases hardware rasterization uh, hardware rasterization is faster than software rasterization so they choose they decide which one they should use at which point to make it more efficient so with that said and out of the way um, I do believe that Nanite now supports uh, culling. As you can see, it is culling. And, I, and that is part of the procedural foliage uh, uh, settings for this foliage. So it does seem to support that now, which is really cool. Um, also, if we go into unlit, uh, you'll see that it does st still uh, suffer from that breakdown where it strips the leaves off of the plants from a distance. You can get away, uh, get around with, around that by using uh, thick fog uh, like they do in this scene. That's that's a really good way to get around that breakage. If you look at the red one right here really noticeable how the leaves get stripped before the trunks but yeah so that's pretty much it guys uh, you'll see uh, 
you know, maybe maybe up to uh, a 50% reduction in the performance hit that you get from from uh, uh, rendering virtual shadow maps if you're using all Nanite. But that's going to depend on a lot of factors, screen resolution. Uh, I'm running on a high screen resolution, 2560 by 1440. So that has, that definitely has an effect on it. If I, I if I take it out, you'll see that the performance instantly goes up with the smaller screen, and it goes down for the larger screen. That's because Nanite does not uh, scale well uh, with the resolution. That's something they have admitted. So it's not me taking shots at them. But yeah, that's it. So if you guys have any questions, uh, make sure to ask down in the comments below. I just thought I would do a comparison here and show you guys uh, the difference that they've made here on this. And I think they did a good job. It's looking good. I'll see you in the next video.